We're joined in studio by a Khang leader, Dr. Mampela Rampele. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you very much for having me here in this beautiful new 2014 year. We started our year with recently released metric results. And even though government's been very positive about these results, Akhang is calling for serious education reform. We actually are calling for education transformation because the way we think about education is to change. We need to change the education narrative, the story about education. Education, as Mr. Mandela used to say, is the key to the future. When we fail to provide the majority of young people with quality education, we are shutting the future in their faces. And coming here, I was listening to employers talking about how young people with metric certificates cannot do basic interviewing. We in Ahang believe that every child is born with enormous talents. What this education system should do from the cradle to the grave is to help those young people to realize what is their central talent and that will depend on a child focus, a learner focus education system. And that starts with high expectations of our learners. The idea that South African children can be fed a diet of 30% in three subjects and 40% in another three subjects as a pass is an insult. It's an insult to the capacity and the capabilities of young people. That narrative needs to change. The narrative needs to go to our children are as gifted as any other. Our responsibilities as teachers, as leaders in the education field, as parents and as citizens is to demand high expectations and high standards for our children. Let's speak about those high standards. You would like to see the pass mark raised to at least 50%. Now, a lot of education experts are saying if we do that, if we take it from 30 to 50, there are going to be many children who fall through the cracks. How do you propose that doesn't happen if it is raised? First of all, 50% is the bare minimum. What we need to be setting is a standard which we have seen children from the poorest of poor backgrounds able to attain higher pass marks in the 60s, 70s, even 100%. It starts with expectations. Now, <clears throat> the pretense that children with a metric result with 30 and 40% have passed is fraud. We must stop defrauding our children. We must face up to the fact that, yes, if we set it at 50% plus, we will have a pass rate, probably, of 30%. That's the reality. Right now, we are all lying to each other. Lying to ourselves as uh, leaders in this uh, country, lying to our children that they have passed when, in fact, the metric certificate is not worth the paper it's written on, lying to poor parents who have invested in those children and lying ultimately to the unborn who are going to have to inherit a country which is as divided in terms of inequality as ours is becoming. Poor quality education is generating poverty and inequality at an alarming rate. Anybody who wants to make South Africa a successful country, anyone who wants to intervene decisively in making sure that we become the great country that we can become with an inclusive, growing economy has to tackle education. And you can't do it by reform here, reform there. We need radical transformation, and that starts with the expectation story. We have to raise our expectation of our children. Second, it goes to our expectations of our teachers. The idea that teachers can refuse to have their competencies tested is totally scary. 
Because imagine walking into a, an aeroplane where the pilot has just refused to take a competency test. Would you stay in that aeroplane? No. Why are we putting the most precious cargo, our children, our future, in the hands of people who refuse to be tested? There are good teachers out there. Those good teachers need to be recognized, need to be supported, but their name, the name of teaching, is being dragged down by the collusion between our government and the elements in the South African Democratic Teachers Union who refuse to take these competency tests. South Africans have to send a very strong message to this government that we choose our children over them staying in power. Because what the ANC has done is to choose staying in power by defrauding our children and feeding them a dummy called a matric certificate with 30 and 40 percent. We must stop feeding our children dummies and give them real milk. And those children have the capacity to rise to high expectations.